Hi, I'm Peter Lobo from MacTits Plus. In today's quick tip, I'll show you how to adjust Time Machine's backup interval. Now, I'm assuming you already have Time Machine set up and purring like a kitty. But if you don't, then pause this video and go do that immediately. Trust me, you'll thank me someday. Now that you have Time Machine set up, let's tweak the schedule a little, shall we? By default, it runs every hour. And while that may be just fine in most cases, there are times when we need something a little different. In my particular case, I have my laptop running on battery most of the time. And since Time Machine can be a resource hog, I don't want it to run every hour. I also don't change that many files, so having it run, say, every three hours is just fine. So without further delay, let's get tweaking. Well, just one more delay. Let me quickly show you what we'll be changing. We'll be editing this plist file. But you'll notice, this is locked by the system, so I can't easily change this in text edit. If I try, I'll get a message saying I don't have permission and that the file is locked. Fortunately, there's another way. So open Terminal, you'll find that in Applications Utilities folder, or alternatively, summon up Spotlight and type in Terminal. And away we go. Now we'll be using an editor such as Nano, Emacs, or Vim. Use whichever you're comfortable with. And you'll be editing this file as super user. So sudo vim system library. Now, it may seem like I'm typing rather quickly, but actually what you're seeing is bash expansion. In essence, what this is, is you type in part of the name, hit tab, and autocomplete. Pretty handy, hey? Now type in your password. And the value we want to change is this down here. This is time measured in seconds. So 3,600 seconds is one hour. We want to change this. So CW, change word, to 10,800 seconds. I did the math beforehand. Now, semicolon, WQ for write quit. And let's just check that everything went well. Yeah, everything went great. Now, you'll have to reboot the system in order for the settings to take effect. Until then, this will keep on the schedule of one hour. One final tip. If a backup isn't working, it's of no use. So it's good practice to check up on it every once in a while. So go into System Preferences, Time Machine, and here you can see the last time it backed up and the oldest backup it has. Alternatively, you can open up Spotlight again Type in console and filter your logs by the string backup D. This will show you a lot more detailed information about what Time Machine is doing, when it started, where it's backing up to, what it has to back up, and when it ended. It's also a good place to see if the backup interval you set is being respected. Last but not least, test a restore every once in a while. I hope the tips were useful and thanks for watching.